Welcome back guys to Fire Emblem where we're still trying not to defeat Lloyd which is our quest of course but with Lloyd around we still have not managed to recruit Wallace and I've since found out that we do have someone else that can recruit him so we can finish this boss guy soon. Though with no extra supreme victory music going on we do wonder if there's a bit more reinforcements somewhere around the map somewhere. Are they hiding somewhere? Can't see them, maybe they're like flyers over here. Maybe Lindis is in peril being only level 11. We'll find out by ending the turn and seeing where they come from. Lloyd attacks Sarah this time, eh? Keep switching up who he decides to out of Matthew and Sarah after all. Shine comes on, hits for one. And of course we dodge the second one, which means we- Ah, okay, it is Wyvern Knights, right. They're missing anyway, so that's not too bad. In fact, two of them. Well, neither of them can actually do any damage to Wallace anyway. So there's nothing that he's really worried about. Now that Wallace is going to take it to one of them, and in fact, leave him just alive but missing completely. Will Wallace get to double? No. So yet again, even more troops appear. The reinforcements galore that keep showing up as people heal up that are defending against the assault from Lloyd. Right then, let's get to work, shall we? Right, we can double here and hit this guy twice, so Lin should be able to take out one of them. And more importantly, we want to rescue Wallace. Not take on these guys every single turn. Alright, so we've got everyone in that can strike at this point in time, so what are we wanting here? Sil well, one Silver Lance strike will do this one. That's not looking a problem at all at the moment, is it? As Oswin levels up and reaches his promotional level, in fact, so more strength and defense there. Apart from that, we can bonk this guy on the head with a big iron axe. Nicely done, Bartra. And then another Nosferatu, I guess, will take you down. This time, no critical. So another range of reinforcements comes, another lot goes down in no time at all. If we dance here, however... We can get Kanas to heal up the little bit of damage done to Lin. Plus it gives her some extra experience anyway, so it's not a bad thing. And Sarah's continuing to do completely fine with the tanking, as a healer should be doing. What? We now, can we get him in? Yes, we can finally talk and recruit Wallace. Ha, Lord Wallace. Bless my soul, it's the Bowman. Your name's Will, isn't it, my boy? Looks like you've been working hard since pledging to House Kaylin. Yes, sir. Even now, I'm escorting Lady Lindis. Lady Lindis? Why didn't you say so to begin with? No doubt you can use the strength of an experienced soldier. Beg your pardon? If Lady Lindis is in danger, I can't sit idly by, can I? Show me the foe. General Wallace will crush them all. And finally, We've achieved victory status, because now we can go and defeat Lloyd at last. So, with that said and done, let's uh, maybe not get in. Okay, let's move you out, sir. Where is your stats, by the way? Oh, you're level one, so you're pretty much as we left you overall. And you're worse than Oswin in pretty much every way. I think we'll stick with Oswin. New troop, sure, but if it's not very good, then what can you do? Alright, so that was an attack with a javelin option there. To be honest, we just want to attack normally. One iron blade will do, won't it? Oh, these guys are lance users. Okay, well, one iron axe will do very well. So there goes another one. As we set up to take down Lloyd, we may as well mop up the rest of the experience on the map. Speed and res gain there. Been getting some lackluster levels, that's for sure. Apart from that, we can defeat you with two Iron Lance Strikes, or maybe something else more powerful? No? We could always get away from range and just javelin you. That's one option as well, may as well use it up.
It does make me wonder if any more guys have appeared since, but a javelin broke in the meantime. Right, so we've got ourselves one foe there, which we can get up to with guys, so that'll go down, no problem. Dodge, guy, dodge! The shine is coming! Nicely done. So, a bit more experience gain there. Iron Sword broke in the meantime though, however. And that reveals one more trooper that we cannot quite reach. Even Hector can't. Right, what kind of weapon do you have currently? An Iron Sword? Do we want to get you near to Hector? That's the wonder. You're probably going to get an attack Hector, so we'll quit the Silver Axe there. You'll probably miss. But, all the same, we'll just do it for kicks. Because what we're really wanting to do is finish off this guy now, so we could attack with the Iron Sword and do 9 damage here. Yeah, let's go for it. I mean, oh wait a second. Maybe not, because you can do 24 to me. That'd be bad if we got caught on the next turn. That's the difference between being melee ranged and not, isn't it? So hopefully no reinforcements appear and we can just go straight for Lloyd, finally. Map swap complete. The longsword is not enough to take that guy down, though we didn't double either. That's the main issue there. No more reinforcements appearing, so Sarah gains some more HP. And finally we get to turn on to the real opposition. Right, so if we eclipsed you, we'd only have a 22 hit chance, that would be rubbish. Really what we need is lances in here. And to be honest, the best person for this is probably you, Fiora. So get a little bit closer. In fact, I guess if we could get you onto the blister, we could make things work quite nicely in our favour. You're not going to be able to be attacked from there, are you? Well, actually, you can be. Well, there's a blister right for you. Ride that. Can we attack with the iron blister all the way down? We can, but it hasn't got that high of a hit chance. Oh well, we'll pray. Oh my goodness, it hit, and it did that much damage. Right, the Iron Blister broke, but we don't really need it after this factoid, do we? We can easily take down these foes and move forward from here. Do you know what? I'm going to move on to there. Because if you're going to dodge, and I at least want to have the same avoidance chance. But no, we've done this fine. The guy levels up to the exact amount. And gain some speed and some extra defense, not bad. And now we finally get the music that says, hey, you finally about done it. So that said, let's get a nice four strike over here. One HP now for our opposition there. As Sarah levels up, now we're wondering who'll get the finishing blow exactly. One magic there for Sarah, not so great. All right. Let's move Lindis a little bit in. I mean, we could get so many people to just move in and finish them off, but of course, at this point, Matthew could do it, but then he'd definitely level up to 20, and then we'd be stuck with him at that level for a long while. Maybe Fiora, maybe Lindis. It's a possibility. Matthew dodges yet again, gains a whole one experience. See, the thing is, we could give it over to Sarah at this point. Quite nicely, so let's see if Lindis can get some nice experience from this kill as we finish up the mission at last. Right, so Iron Sword wouldn't hit that well, nor would the Manikati, and we'd be taken out in one fell swoop. Probably not best to bet that one, eh? Apart from that, Fiora will do the job without much of an issue. Much, not much of a fanfare. So take that experience, Fiora, as we finally finished up. <sighs> defeated Lloyd. I wonder if the ending sequence will be any different than the first time we completed the map. The starting sequence was relatively the same. Skill, speed and luck there. And we've recruited Wallace finally. Are you well? I'm beaten. You are strong. Stronger than I'd realised. You're foolish as well. To waste sentiment on me, your enemy. Ah! The same tried to attack, eh? This is what happens! Hellawood! Peace! I've no plans on fleeing with a hostage. After I deal with you, I'll let the rest of them go. 
Ooh, I said the same thing. What? We battled your comrade Uhai on the Dread Isle. He told us that he'd do nothing so cowardly as take a hostage. He fought with honor. You Black Fang are not evil by nature. So why is it that we fight? Uhai, you spoke with him? Yes, with his dying breath, he told us the way to the Dragon's Gate. I see. Ha! Go, don't worry. I too have my honor. I will not attack you again. Will you join our cause? No. However, something is amiss. You have been granted a brief reprieve until I have my answers. Tell us, what is your name? I'll tell you next time we meet. Be seeing you. Watch out for the woman named Sonia. That was close. Forgive me. I wanted to speak with him at least once. Don't sweat it. At least we learned a little something about our opponent. Indeed, we did a little bit more. The Black Fang seems to have some honor after all. Perhaps they really are just being used by Nogal. We should talk to their leader, Brendan Reed. Perhaps we can resolve this without any more fighting. I don't like it. Sounds like a terrible plan. Hector? Let's get back to camp. We might have some word from Pent and the others. I wonder what that was all about. Alright, so what will happen this time then? As I suspected, they're not the gang of thugs Sonya made them out to be. How do I unmask that woman for what she truly is? Ah! Whoa! Impossible! Not a sound! Nothing! Lloyd the White Wolf, such strong quintessence! Th Linus! Tell... Father... Lloyd! Brother! Lloyd! This is unforgivable! I will kill them all! Not a one will survive! So as we see minor little differences there, but as we move on to the Baran Mass, as we see in this scene, let us move on to our next chapter properly, shall we? The power of editing. And so we move on. The Burn Royal family is a pageant of power, love, and hate. Ellawood finds himself embroiled in their troubles. He has been sent to recover the Burn family treasure, the Fire Emblem. It has been stolen from the palace vault. Relying on information that he has uncovered in the city, Hector heads south to an area filled with lakes and marshes. To begin yet another Hector exclusive following on from Four Fang Defense. We start Hector Chapter 25, Crazed Beast. You there. Open the cell. Lady Sonia? B but the prisoner! My orders are that none may see him. Open the cell. Did you hear me? Y y yes Oh ho! Aren't you a lovely one? I pray you'll forgive the cramped quarters. Pascal Grenzer! Once and former Count of Brands Landskron. A man whose battlefield prowess was feared far and wide. Until you invited your citizens to your castle and slaughtered them. Stripped of your title, you fled the king and joined the Black Fang. Is that an accurate summary? Hmm. You know me well, it would seem. You were even made one of the four fangs. Spending the rest of your days in this place seems so wasteful. I've heard that Brendan calls you the Beast. A monster who would massacre an entire village to kill one person. He doesn't know how to enjoy his work. Never harm any innocents. Bah! The Black Fang brings justice to those above the law. <laughs> Quite droll jokes, don't you think? I'm going to release you, Count. I have a job for you. Something you'll love. What do you say? Are you interested? Hmm. Why not? It can be worse than rotting here. And I must say, I do love my work. How tell me? What is the name of my target?
This is a really remote area, isn't it? Yeah. Few people call this area home. Hector, are you sure about this? Is the Fire Emblem really here? Yes. I paid a small ransom for this information. There's no mistake. Look, do you see those free rundown fortresses? I was told the thieves who base themselves there stole the emblem. Thieves? Wonder if it's true. We'll simply have to go and confirm it for ourselves. Come on, let's go. Oh, wait you two. This looks... it's them. Well, that's quite a few troops. That's a lot of troops. It's about time. Shall we get started? L Lord Pascal, are you sure? Shouldn't we tell the chief we found them? You don't understand, do you? If we tell anyone, the Four Fangs will take over. I will not let my prey be snatched away by those spoiled children. But, but... If you wish to be executed for desertion, I'll not stop you from fleeing. I think it would be more fun to fight though, don't you? Shall we proceed, gentlemen? That's a lot of enemies. Looks like we're completely surrounded. Bah, I don't think we'll lose if we fight, but these are not the most favorable conditions. Okay, I don't care who, but someone needs to break out and seize those fortresses. Got that? We seize all three of them. So we've got to seize three fortresses, have we? Lord Elwood, Lord Hector, look here! At long last I've achieved my heart's desire. Your humble Melinus has a wagon. Now I will be able to move with you. I can provide you with much better service now. Ah, so it's Melinus' promotion time, because of course with more chapters means it will come a lot earlier. And so, Melinus, congratulations on getting a promotion there. Transporter level one. So now we can bring him with us, then let's check the map and survey the surroundings here. Right, we have ourselves a billion pirates of level 11-ish. So to be honest, the hand axe galore and how birds and the whatnot, I imagine Lin could get some nice experience from troops like that. We have ourselves a ton of cavalry guys. We have ourselves Pegasus Knights as well all around. So I guess we've got to take this place, this place, and this place to win, the ones guarded by promoted units, by the look of it. And apart from that, we've got some shops, and we've got ourselves a village that we want to send someone over to get to. We've even got ourselves a ballista, easily available, to start attacking from range. Plus, they've got a ton of ballistas to fight us back as well, which isn't good. We need to get rid of those archers ASAP. So now that we've surveyed the land, let us get a little bit of fortune, hey? I see, shades of the battle yet to come. Well, I wish to know it. Own three points is our goal here. A moment, please. I see three strongholds. They must all be seized, or victory will escape you. Ah, Hector need not seize them all himself. It matters not who takes the strongholds. All are guarded by mighty foes, so move with caution. Ballista users and flyers will give you an advantage, I think. White wings may carry the day. One more thing, it would be best if you had much gold. Okay then, that's it. Would you like me to repeat this algorithm? No, I would not, because now we need to set up exactly what units we're taking, and by the sound of it, white wings will do me good. So, we could add in, for example, well, we depends who we want to take out in exchange, because Matthew's probably not going to get so much experience here. There's no fog of war, so let's get in Florina. Well, let's just sort things out in general. And I'll see you next episode, because it seems like I should do a lot of changing around things. Plus, Oswin should get promoted at some point in time here, before we set off to actually do battle. So, we have enemies all around us. In fact, so many, it's ridiculous. We look to save this village, and take some of these points next episode. Though, I think we're going to be doing a ton of battling to get there. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.